Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be my yearly favorites. I can't believe it's already 2016. This is going to be my first video in 2016. Like that's insane. I hope you guys had an amazing New Year's filled with love and happiness with your family and that it was amazing for you guys and I, I hope you guys had a great time. So I'm gonna try to start from how I apply my makeup from, from primer, foundation, concealer, you know, the whole gist. So yeah, let's get right into that. Okay, for primers, I have two primers. I have the Makeup Forever Step 1 Skin e Equalizer in the smoothing, the smoothing primer. And then I have the Too Faced Hangover RX primer. So starting off with this one, this um, I like to put in my T-zone area, so like my nose, my chin, my upper lip, and the, in between my eyebrows and a little bit on my forehead, like right here. I like to put this in my T-zone area because it just hides and cancels out all my pores because I do have a lot of pores mostly around my nose and this helps me hide it. I've been using this non-stop since it came out and I absolutely love it and I don't know if I'll find another primer that will that I'll love as much as this. On to the Too Faced Hangover RX primer. Since I I am oily, but mostly again in my T-zone area, but the rest of my face is like normal to dry kind of. It's not really oily, but it's not like super dry either. But I really like this because it feels like a lotiony kind of moisturizer and it hydrates the rest of my face. So I just really like it. I, I've noticed that when I do wear it, my makeup does last longer with it. I don't know. I just, I really like this one. Oh, yeah. Okay, so moving on to foundation. This is my Holy Grail foundation. It's the Makeup Forever Ultra HD foundation. I have been using this nonstop in 2015. Like, all the time, every day. I absolutely love it. It makes my... I actually have it on right now. But I absolutely love this foundation. It keeps me matte. And it... But it also leaves me like a natural finish. You can totally build it up as much as you want to. But I just feel like it leaves me a natural finish when I want it. But also like a full on glam if I wanted it to. I just... I love the formula, I love, I don't know, I just really, really like this foundation and I've been using it non-stop. I can't live without this. I need it in my life. So moving on to concealers, I have two concealers I want to show you. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer and then this is the Urban Decay Naked Skin Weightless Complete Coverage Concealer. That's a mouthful. Anyways. I feel like these kind of have the same formulation. They are really um, pigmented, like you can put a lot, but it's all, but it's not like heavy or cakey, you know? But these are my babies and I love them. I always find myself reaching for them when I'm doing looks and I try to use different products when I am doing looks, but it's just so hard because I really, really love these. <laughs> And if you don't have these, I would really, really recommend them. So next I have this, um, this. <laughs> this is the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. I love this so much. Like I said, I am super oily, so when I put this in my T-zone area or around the rest of my face, it keeps me matte. Like, hella matte. And I love that. I also use this for like baking under my eyes or for my contour. I love it so much. Next are my brows. I cannot live without this product. I don't think I can do my brows with any other product because I've tried a few other brow pencils or brow products from other companies. And I just end up going back to this one. I just really, really love it. This is, of course, the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz. Excuse these bite marks. They're from my dog. But as you can see, it's like really smooth and it just glides on your finger. 
really, really like this. Um, and I can't wait for their new one to come out, the Brow Definer, I think it's called. I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. But I can't wait to get that and try it out because I really, really like this one. So maybe I'll really, really like that one as well. Next, I have a eyeliner that I want to talk about. Well, it's a liquid liner. It's the NYC Liquid Liner. I do like gel liner, but liquid liner is a lot easier to apply, in my opinion. Um, I know there's like those um, ride or die gel liner girls, and I applaud you for that. But I tend to like liquid liner a little bit more because for me it is easier to use. But I really, really like this one because it dries matte. I hate getting liquid liners and they kind of have that sheen or shininess to it. And whenever you turn like your face or move a certain angle, you can see it. This one doesn't do that. Also, a lot of liquid liners tend to peel off and I hate that. This does not do that, which is why I love it and it's a matte. And I love matte. You can see it's really, really tiny. So you can get right into those inner corners, you know, make it really thin. And then it's really good for making that sharp wing liner. So next I have um, two contour kits that I have been obsessing over this year. First, let's start off with the OG. The Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit. I love this palette so much. This is the OG contour kit she is the one that started it all really really pigmented like you just need to dip your brush in it just a little bit and like you're good set contour on fleek girl i really really love this contour kit i'm pretty sure all of you have it everybody in the whole world has it and i love it okay so the next contour kit i have i definitely know you all have it everybody this is another palette that everybody has and it's the kat von d shade and light palette i love this as much as i love my anastasia beverly hills one this one though is a lot more pigmented than the, the anastasia one like you literally just put your brush in like that and you are good i remember when the first time i got it i just grabbed my brush and like swept it in and then just contoured and i was like oh my god like it, there was so much product on my cheek and it was so hard to blend out next i have um two highlighters so the first one i have is the makeup forever pro scope thing duo and this is in um number two it's like that um perfect gold shade holds a special place in my heart i actually have it on today with the other highlighter that i'm about to talk about but i really 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 love this so the next highlighter i have is the becca shimmering skin perfector in champagne pop <laughs> like this is absolutely gorgeous i love this highlighter so much um like i said before and i have it um i have champagne pop on top of the makeup forever highlighter that i just spoke about i use this more when i'm doing my um no makeup makeup looks or a natural look but then i also use it when i'm like hey girl full on glam like you know pretty sure you guys all know this but this is the highlighter that Jaclyn Hill created with Becca Cosmetics, which is another reason why I absolutely love this highlighter because I am obsessed with Jaclyn Hill. Speaking of Jaclyn Hill, I actually met her in July, which was an amazing experience. I met her at the Sephora in Union Square here in New York City. I waited like six, seven hours in the pouring rain to meet her. Like, I was so happy. So the next product I have is the excuse that it's super dirty. I haven't washed it yet. This is the Real Techniques Beauty Sponge, I think it's called that. I really don't know the name of it, but I will list it in the description bar. I love that it has the flat shade, as you can see, because it makes it easier to get under your eye when you're doing concealer. You can also use this when you're baking for your contour because it has that perfect flat edge to bake with. And you also have the pointy part, 
if you want to get right into your inner corner while you're doing your concealer. I absolutely love this. It's so good. So good. Need to get it. Okay, guys, so those are my 2015 favorites. Those are the products that I've been loving for the year of 2015. I absolutely love each and every one of them. I've been using them non-stop. And I really recommend for you guys to go get them if you don't already. I hope you guys had an amazing year and it was filled with love and happiness and everything went the way that you wanted it. I'm super pumped for 2016. I want to make this the year to remember. But yeah, that's all I have to say. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!